former Lagos State Governor Ambody relocates to Ghana, starts a new life. According to Goldmine TV, it is a new lease of life for the Lagos former governor as he relocates to Ghana. The story is told of an unintentionally adventurous chap, usually to the bewilderment of an innocent audience. In the narrative, an underprivileged char character is cleaned up in his sleep and taken into the bedchamber of a king of his land. There, he is given the king's robe, primed as much as practicable and left alone. He wakes up to find himself exalted, disbelieves it for a few hours, is convinced after more slops and gobs, and finally returns to sleep. Seeing him deeply asleep, the facilitators again get on their trade, strip him of rank and royalty, dump him at his old outpost, and go on their merry way. The poor man literally and figuratively wakes up and is left to wonder which position is permanently and if he will ever have such powers at his finger trips. Hakim Umiambode is one of the countless folks who have drunk from the chalice of power and retire to a different, quieter and humbler life. Forever chronicled in the annals of Nigeria political history as the 14th governor of Lagos State, there is little or else that a man from the Ekpe soil could ask for. Starting his education in Ekpe where he was born, no intrepid prophet could have foreseen his future or the natural charisma which he charmed the hearts of Lagosians, the sharpest folks on the Nigerian block, one might say. Since then, he grew into his own as a bright and quick mind something that guided his career in the civil service. It was from that civil service that he retired to the political scene, from acting auditor general for local government in Lagos State to the permanent secretary of the Federal Ministry of Finance, and after some twists and turns, became Lagos State governor. Hmm. A position that he rocked in style and will remain in the memory of Lagosians for as long the governor who personally ran with his people and breathed in the same dust as they did. Having left that position, countless eyes have been gone, have gone to and fro the earth, searching where he is and what he is doing. The latest of these have found him in Ghana, where he is residing in the hush of new life. Ambode is a man born again. In a new land and with renewed peace. So, guys, uh, that is the latest uh, about Ambody. In all of this, I don't think there's any big deal about it. That is life. No position is permanent. Nothing is permanent in this life. He has done his part and he has done his own bit. Good and fine. The only difference, the only thing I'm just seeing here is that he relocated to Ghana, and uh, which is entitled to what he feels like doing or what he wants to reside. If Anything, you know, if there's anything to go by with what we are hearing, I don't think it's any big deal. Of course, he has really gone through a lot of things, just like a, uh, we've, uh, we've heard from this uh, particular article. So it's not really a big deal. He can decide to live anywhere and all of that. But the memory will be there in the, in the minds of people and in his own mind. So what he did, if he has done right, fine. If people feel that he has not done the right thing, good and fine. Life is always like that. In this life, people, you will have your fans, you will have people who are really against you. Nobody, everybody cannot be on your side. That is one thing that is in it. Of course, we are in a new dispensation now in Lagos. So, what has changed? If you ask what has really changed, people are still complaining, saying the same thing. And a lot of people will still come out and tell you, oh, no, you don't say that this man did well. And some people see it as, no, he didn't do well. Some people believe that, oh, he you know, overstepped his boundaries, and which is normal. Everybody cannot be on your side. Not at all. He has done his own part. Even if he had stayed eight years, definitely he will still be out of the place one day. He will not be it won't he won't be there permanently because it is not it's a it's not a hereditary and it's not a a family title or family position. 
So it's no big deal. But the only thing is that what really transpired at the end of the day, it is what you know people are really talking about. But relocating to Ghana, what could have made him to relocate to Ghana? Just like I said, he's entitled to his opinion, and nobody can question him. You know, people will just be looking for for people have been looking for him, and at the end of the day, you know, according to the news. They found him in Ghana, where he has started a new life. You know, uh, we all wish him, we wish him well, in all his uh, endeavors. That is life for you. The ones that are still there now, are they really what are they? What difference are, have they make, or what difference are they making? That is the question. Since he left the government, since he left, you know, being the governor, what difference has the new, uh, people? You know. What, are, what difference have they made? People are still complaining here and there. People are still, even all the problems that people complained when it was there are still there. And when these new people came in, everybody thought, oh, we didn't want much since they understood what was going on under him. That everything would be would be done within one month. It won't take any, you know, it won't take much time. But what are we seeing? It's still the same problem, the same stories, the same complaints here and there. Good and fine. So let's hear what people are saying concerning Ambody. Someone said whether the information is true or not, Ambode did so well, served very well as a governor. This is a governor that loses his second term bid, and yet he humbly left his godfather without rancor, hid his head like a powerless man, yet powerful. So to me, I believe that whatever decision he makes as to where he lives in Africa is nothing but best decision to make. I hope they will give him permanent citizen so he can be helping them, you know, this one, you don't need it. And someone said, this is a sad omen for us as a country that an individual who rose to the peak of his professional calling in the public service was selected to serve his state as governor, had to leave the country for a smaller but better organized country. I was in Ghana before. It is better organized country. We elite need to talk to ourselves. They are not the best of times. These are not the best of times hmm. same way obaseki will relocate to lagos oh my goodness you know people people can really talk well they are entitled to their opinion if this is true i wish you well but believe this changing is for some time what for maybe he's afraid of being persecuted if found wanting does this mean he will never be involved in politics again maybe like the probably man who said he will never return home until all his enemies die of course uh, this is really a good point uh that doesn't mean it maybe just for for some time you know just to cool cool off if really if there's anything to go by with this news that actually is in ghana so cool off is a head and you know it might still come back that is not the end of the life that is not the end of the road at all it might still come back i think with all of these things that are happening you would just want to you know, be in a quiet place so that, you know, he will not be seeing some of the things, you know, that could be bringing memories, you know, to him. So he's entitled to what he wants to do. And someone say goodbye. Mm, sad news because Nigeria is not a place to live anymore. No security. Like, seriously? Yeah. Please, for God's sake, leave our body alone. All fine for our body, but he should find time to clear the ICPC, EFCC inquiries. An auditor general without priority mind, governed to waste money. Hmm. This is retirement. Someone say it is even better. It's better for him to, to have relocated after after you don't chop Lagos Belefu too much money. Can an ordinary Nigeria relocate just like that? They go punish Nigerian politicians. Someone says, uh, yeah. So everything under heaven, there is time and season. Whatever level of position or class anyone attend. In life, he or she should remember that there is time and season, according to Ecclesiastes 3 verse 1. Arrogance and pride destroyed him. Touch not my anointed, no matter how small he or she may be. Your woes are still many, unless you apologize to the man of God. My very candid advice, anyway. Hmm. It is always a wise decision to stay away from the reach of your enemies, but the gentleman should have taken a cue. From Chief Obafemi Awolowo, Awolowo's words of wisdom that says, "If you are in an environment where the average of the people likes likes you and the other average hates you, that is the best environment for you to live. As at any point in time, you would always have those that would, in any way, 
event of crisis cross. Someone says it is well with him. Good luck, but don't don't cause this misfortune for nothing. Goes for, nothing goes for nothing. Go and apologize to the man of God. Uh, you humiliated. People are just still talking about the, this man of God, this man of God that humiliated the man of God. Well, if he feels that he has offended the man, he will um, go and beg for forgiveness. But if he feels that he didn't do anything, because it is what you know we are hearing that people know about, but he has not even said he didn't even said he didn't say anything concerning that issue. Even when that issue happened, he didn't make any comments concerning that. Maybe he knows what's transpired. So, guys, uh, that is the uh, latest about a somebody that he has relocated to. Ghana, let's hear again. Let's wait and see whether it's coming to debunk it. I know maybe he just went to Ghana or he's not in Ghana. We'll see. Going to know, but for the now, that is what, uh, that is what is trending. That is relocated to Ghana. So, guys, uh, what do you think? Leave your comments and let's hear your take. Bye.